Welcome to Tuesday for Holiday Club. My name is Johnny and I'm here with Alex. And we're looking today at the story of when Jesus calms the storm. So Alex is going to read for us and share some pictures as he reads. Thank you, Johnny. I'm just going to share the screen. Okay. At the end of a day of teaching, Jesus told his disciples that they should cross to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. Jesus fell asleep in the back of the boat, but the weather seemed calm. One of the disciples looked up into the sky and thought, I don't like the looks of those clouds. Suddenly, a violent storm swept across the sea. Jesus kept on sleeping, but his disciples are terrified. Look at all the waves. Hurry, lower the sail, one of them cried. Where's the anchor? Another cried. Giant waves poured over the sides of the boat. The disciples can't do anything to stop the water. Help, we're being swamped, cried Peter. We're going to sink, cried James. Somehow, Jesus has remained asleep through the whole commotion. One of the disciples whispered in his ear, Master, don't you care that we're going to drown? Without a word to the disciples, Jesus woke up. He stands up and he reaches his hand out to the storm. Quiet! Be still, he commands. Instantly, the wind dies down and the sea is completely calm. Why are you so afraid, asks Jesus. Is your faith in me still so weak? One of the disciples asks, who is this man? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Alex. What an amazing God that he can even control the wind and the waves. And that is the same God as we worship today. And so in our prayers today, we're going to, I'm going to lead us in a, oh, imagine it's stormy. Life is stormy. And then pray that God will be with us even in the midst of our storms. So I don't know what the storms in life may be for you. Maybe it's been stormy already today because you've had an argument or a fight with a brother or a sister or that your mum or dad has told you off and you don't like that. Maybe you've had to cancel a, a, a play date with a friend or something and you feel that it's all stormy and rough and life's a bit unfair. Let's pray and ask Jesus to be with us even in the midst of a rough and tumble of life and the, and the challenges of life. Lord God, life can be a real rough and tumble and things cannot go always the way we want it. But Lord, we pray that you will come and breathe your peace into our hearts and into our lives. That at all times, may we know your love and grace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Johnny. And we have a craft, so hopefully you have been, uh, uh, you've got different, different things that have been dropped off for you. So we have, um, I think this is a bit of a pool noodle or something, so which is cut in half uh, for the boat. And then we've got a sail for the boat, and a nice uh, ecological straw, I hope. And then we've got a sail. And the sail says on it, Jesus has power over creation because he is God the Son. And it's from uh, the Gospel of Matthew 8, verses 23 to 27. So Jesus has power over creation because he is God the Son. So we put our sail onto the mast. And there's our boat. Are you going to take it down to the Thames, Johnny, and float it? 
Hey, that would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. You Somebody could. could pick it up and then they'd find out and be reminded that Jesus has the power over creation. That would be great. It would be right? great you could go race a friend. Yes. I'll see you down there. Brilliant.